<laughs> down in front. Down in front. What does that make up? The floor of the mouth, right? So there's two muscles that make up the floor of the mouth. And then out, outside here that you can't see is the platysma. It comes up like this. It's on the outside of these muscles. Yeah, that's the muscle when you go like that in your neck. Okay? Sternocleidomastoid. Temporalis. Masseter. This is probably the buckle in here, but it's not clear. Buxinator. Excuse me. Um, no. That's a facial that's a facial mouth, but it aids it, but all you know, but it does aid in chewing a little bit. Okay, so this is in the angle see how it goes to the angle of the mouth? And it's gonna depress the mouth down, right? So it's gonna be the let's read the exact name here because they're kinda of confusing. Uh, no, the depressor. It's a de depressor labia depressor anguli oris, I believe is what it's called. Professor Levi in theory. Where does it say in the book? 99. Okay, so that is the depressor because it's going to depress. Angle because it goes to the angle. Depressor labia, the depressor anguli oris. Okay? Then depressor labii inferioris is going to be, well, that doesn't show very good here. It doesn't show very good on here. Zygomaticus would be here because it goes to the zygomatic arch. So that's zygomaticus major. Can't really see the minor. That one right across it. I don't know for sure. That It's either the levator. I don't know. This could be the left. This could be minor. Hard to, I, you know, I couldn't ask you because I don't know if that's minor or the levator uh, labii. Here is that nasi one, right? That weird name. Levator labii superioris alici nasi, and that's going to pull this part of the eyebrow down. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis Oris, right? Okay, and then you have Levator Labii Superioris because it's going to the lip and it's going to pull it up. Levator Labii Superioris, right? And what's this one going to be? This one goes to the angle, that would be that anguli oris we already mentioned. That. Right, and this is the rhizorius, and you can tell the rhizorius because it's horizontal, okay? And that's going to pull this back like that, okay? Rhizorius. Okay, this is going to be the mentalis muscle. This is going to be the depressor labii. Depressor labii inferioris, because it's going to pull the lip down. This is the angulorus, because it goes to the angle. So that's the depressor labii inferioris, superioris. Okay. Platysma, this is going to be the epicranial. It's going to pull your eyebrow up. Okay. Orbicularis oris, your kissing muscle. I think we got it. I'm not going to ask you these because it's too confusing down here. They're hyoid muscles, but we don't know where they end up. So we will need to know super or supra. What about an artery? Not, I won't ask you what one of these is. Oh, okay. okay. Sternal what? Sternal And the trapezius, you can also What's see this? there. What's this? The malo... I think it's anterior belly of the digastric. Oh. And what's Which this? Mylohyoid. Mylo I think that's what those are. Good try. I think that's what that is. It's hard to tell sometimes. Stuff like that, like hard to tell. You can't. Are you going to ask us stuff like that? I'm not going to. I'm going to try to be as specific so that it's as you know clear as possible.
Page 114. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the artery, some of the arteries and veins that we can see here. This is the external jugular. This is the retro mandibular behind the mandible. Inside here. Retro mandibular behind the mandible. This is the internal jugular down here. And next to it is the external carotid. See that? Internal jugular, external carotid. Facial artery coming off the external carotid. Facial vein. Superficial temporal. Transverse facial coming off the what? Superficial temporal. Doesn't come off the facial artery. Okay? That's pretty much the main arteries that we need to worry about. Huh? The tonsils, yep. But. Palatine tonsils? It's hard to tell, you know, palatine tonsils. Are these the palatine tonsils? Probably, but it's hard to tell on here. Yeah. I don't know that I'd ask you that because it's confusing.